Okay, this video is going to show you how to do a shove it with rhinos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that introduction. Sorry my editing is not very great, but here are some examples of me doing an actual shove it. Tricks that you should know before learning the shove it. There's no real trick you should know before learning the shove it, but being comfortable riding on your skateboard and also being able to kick turn will be helpful. Proper foot position is key to a good shove it. Here's a peel of me of where I put my feet for shove -its. Where my front foot is doesn't really matter, but I like to have it just under the bolts as it keeps me most balanced. The most important foot position is the back foot. Here's a side view of where my back foot is. I hang my toes slightly over the edge of the tail so that I'm able to really scoop the back tail. The scoop is the most important part of the trick. The first part of the scoop is lifting the front wheels off the ground a few inches. This is where kick turns and manuals are helpful. Okay, charge your inner rhino. Just like a rhino charging at someone, really push that leg back. So here's how to scoop the board to make it rotate really quickly. When your front wheels are off the ground, wrap your toes around the side of the board so that you can push the board straight back. This may seem really odd at first, but keep practicing with it with one foot on the board and one foot on the ground. Try your best to rotate the board as fast as you can. This will make landing easier. What's important here is after you press the tail down a bit to lift the wheels, scoop the straight back. You don't need to push down anymore. So once you get the scoop, catching or landing is the next step. So because the back foot does all the scooping, the front foot is the main foot for catching. So when you're scooping the board, lift the front foot up into the air, watch the board rotate, and when the 180 is complete, you should put your front foot down. Once you place your front foot down, put the other foot on to complete the landing. At first, catching the board will be difficult and sometimes hard to commit with both feet. When you get more comfortable, you're able to catch or shove it with your front foot a little higher and make it look steezy. Let's talk about the weight distribution and where you should jump. My weight distribution is very centered over the board. When I finish scooping the tail, I jump straight up. If you're doing rolling shove if you jump straight up, you'll naturally land a little in front of you due to the board's momentum. So what are the three most common mistakes with shove -its? The first is what I call the friction hot wheels. So this is what happens when you don't lift your front wheels up. Instead, you rotate the board and the front and back wheels both make contact with the ground when trying to rotate. Due to the friction, it causes your board to rotate even slower and oftentimes it makes it really difficult to land because of the unpredictability of the rotation. So in order to fix this mistake, lift up the front wheels a few inches before scooping. So the second mistake is that you can't land with your back foot. This is probably the most common mistake. So this could stem from the fact that you're not committing or because you're not rotating your board fast enough. Other times, I see people not actually jumping high enough to land on the board. You have to at least jump higher than the board's height. If commitment is your issue, then start off with doing shove -its in the grass where it's soft. Next, maybe you'll want to hold on to something like a railing and practice shove -its that way. The third mistake is that the board lands too much in front of you. So this mistake is the most prominent in stationary shove -its, where there's actually no forward momentum pushing the board forward. So the first solution is to actually jump forward and in front of you a bit. That way you can land on the board where the board lands. The next solution is to do it rolling. Start slow and then progressively move faster and faster. Here are the steps to maybe do your first shove it. Start with practicing the scoop with one foot on the ground. Then, when you feel comfortable, start scooping and landing on one foot. Then, maybe take it to the grass, then use the hand railing, then do it stationary on the ground, and then finally, do it rolling. Most important is to do it at your own pace. Okay, so my personal struggles with the shove it. So here are some old clips of me first learning how to skateboard and trying to learn how to do shove -its. It was really bad. I got frustrated over this trick because it seemed so simple but yet it was so difficult for me. So for me personally, I started to do stationary shove -its first, 
and then I finally got more comfortable and I started to do them rolling but I did them very very slowly eventually I was able to gain more speed and then I was able to do them more consistently now I absolutely love shovets thanks for making it to the end of this video please listen to this important message alright so in all honesty I love animals especially love rhinos so there's about 5,500 black rhinos left in the wild. So this classifies them as critically endangered, which means that they could go extinct in the wild in our lifetime. So we have to do our part in order to save the rhinos. Go check out the WWF website, and if you can donate, please donate in order to help save the rhinos. If, however, you can donate, that's not the end of the world. I know that not everyone can donate, and that's absolutely fine. There's other ways that you can help protect the rhinos. Talk about the issue, just bring awareness to the issue is helping a lot already. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Soup. Or don't.